Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo, which is looking so ridiculously cute. Look at this. Oh yes, and we have people arriving. Oh, it's the business people. So that's the truck that brings like the business people by and they seem to be flocking through our zoo. Oh gosh, I wonder if we actually, <gasps> let's put a couple of vending machines over here because I wonder if we can actually go ahead and get some of those awesome business cards that they might have. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So would that be under shop? Yes, yeah, see, we have a little snack vendor that we could actually have them come visit. So maybe we'll go ahead and put like a snack vendor and a cola vendor right over here. And we'll see if we can snag some more of the business people and make them spend their hard earned cash right over here. Excellent, excellent. But welcome back everyone! Those big ears are so floppy! And today is the day where we are actually, oh my gosh, that's a lot of poop. I think we should hire another keeper. Today is the day, I was going to say, where we're actually going to come in and try to breed our rabbits and possibly our geese as well. Uh, but with more animals comes more responsibility. And that means that I probably should get another keeper. I feel like we don't have enough staff. Can I hire more? Let's go ahead and recruit more staff. Um, and then we're, this is just like admin cost. If I come over to the job portal, it'll actually cost $55 a day, but let's go to the job portal to see if that actually gets us like a really like highly trained zookeeper who can come and help us with all this bunny poop. Oh my gosh, there's so much bunny poop going on right now. We need to clean that up. And we also have a new, oh look, we almost hit 50 visitors in one day. Yes, no matter, oh, no matter the animal, it's, if it's a baby, it's always cute. We have a baby gosling. What? I'm so happy about that. And we just hit 50 visitors in one day. What a way to really start speeding things up. Like, what the heck? All right. Kathleen should be very happy with us. Nice. And then I think she has a new task for us. Let's check. Okay, no new task, no new task, no task. And Miss Lee just wants us to go ahead and have some mini buses. Um, Franny we took care of last time because Franny the complainer we put down enough benches to make Franny happy thank goodness and the only thing that we really need to work on now is that Kathleen the investor wants us to have four mini buses en route to Horizon Village so let's check on the whole transport situation a hundred percent of the people who can come here actually like are being picked up so there's no point in having more buses at the moment until we get a whole bunch more animals because i think once we get more animals that will spur people to come visit more uh so a lot of people new applicant for the hot dog shop is the hot dog shop staffed right now let's see like dexter works here but dexter experience level 14 politeness work ethic energy job satisfaction um, and we're being paid, Dexter's being paid below market rate. Oh, wait, no, above market rate. Politeness and work ethic are still really low. So I think what we have to do is we actually have to fire the employee in order to go ahead and like hire a new employee that maybe has better work ethic. But I don't know, Dexter has this cool hat and he's really polite, not super polite, but he's fairly polite. Gosh, okay, I'm gonna hold off on like firing him just because I feel guilty about that idea. Uh, meanwhile, let's go ahead and think about adding more animals to the zoo and let's work on our breeding more systematically. Because I think we really need to come in here and we need to try to get a new type of bun bun. Uh, 18 people felt the price was too expensive. Ugh. All right, we'll try to work on that. Um, <gasps> look at this, there's a new animal variant available at the shelter today, oh my gosh. It's a new type of goose, I think. It is a new type of goose. I don't even know what type of goose that is. Let's go ahead and rescue them. So we have rescued them from the shelter. Let's add them. Oh no, okay. Oh no, okay. So I don't actually have a spot I can put them, I don't think. Okay, wait, the goose is gonna be coming here. Will that have, oh, the feeding, there's something wrong with the food. Let's quick order all of the food that we need. I think that's because we don't have enough keepers, like taking care of everything. Ah, okay, sorry guys. I know things are getting a little bit hectic all of a sudden, but that's just because we have so much to do. So let's see if we can hire another staff member. What's this? <gasps> Artistic or common sense commission a fake animal. 
Hey, I noticed that you have geese in your zoo, but you know what's more exciting? A beefowl! It's technically just a goose that's colorful with a fancy tail. I could make the tail from paper mache. It would be great! I get to practice my skills, and your visitors would love seeing a more exotic bird. Take the goose, add paint, get a peafowl! So if we paint a goose to look like a peafowl, scamimals, they're scamimals! What a name! Uh, give us negative morality points, but we would have a peafowl and that would attract more guests to our zoo. Uh, I kind of want to accept that, but that would lower our morality a lot. We're I kind of want to accept. Okay, we're going to reject it for now just because I think that would confuse me when it comes to the breeding efforts. And we're going to be, we're going to get a new goose anyway, but I might have to accept one of those to see what happens in the future, friends. All right, so let's see. We have, whoa, five applicants. Roscoe, terrible work ethic, polite with high energy. Derek, good work ethic, somewhat polite, high energy. Level 12, level 13, polite. Ooh, Shawnee has like work ethic, politeness, and high energy. Kelly just applied. Oh my gosh, Elizabeth, holy cow, you can get a lot of applicants. All right, I'm actually thinking Shawnee might be good. Do we have somebody? Because we don't really need to worry about the, like, yeah, look at Roscoe. He's not, like, Roscoe, no. Ooh, look at the work ethic on Curtis. Curtis, if we pay you a little more, does your work ethic go up? Uh, his job satisfaction, like, isn't totally high, but I guess unhappy employees may leave their jobs eventually, but before that, their politeness and work ethic will be reduced. Ensure fair job pay and promotions across the zoo to help keep job satisfaction up. Um, there's a lot of people with great work ethic applying. I'm pretty happy about that. I think Shawnee... No, I think Elias... No, no. Who was it? Curtis? Yeah, Curtis has, like, the best work ethic. So let's go ahead and hire Curtis. And we'll close this position. No, because uh, we may need more employees soon. Is that Curtis? It's Curtis! Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to zone him for both of these zones as well. And now that we have more keepers, I'm hoping we can clean up the poop and everything a little bit more efficiently. Meanwhile, is this bunny pregnant? Let's see. Biscuit. I don't think Biscuit is currently pregnant. So let's come over to breeding. And then let's try to get ourselves a new type of bunny. Um, I think it's better if we breed two brown ones, actually. Okay. Fertile, yes, with Bugsy and Pumpkin. And there's a 37% chance of this new type versus a 26% chance. So let's try that. They're going to be picked. They're going to be taken off display, but we should be okay there. Meanwhile, we have a baby goose now. It did not give us the 45% chance of having uh, the new type of goose. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to pull both. Oh, wait, the goose is pregnant. <laughs> Yay. My geese are expecting more babies. All right. We should be good. Meanwhile, let's go to the research hub. And what else can we unlock? Brick restrooms, large enrichment balls. There's a warehouse farm processor in the future. You need to have really, really high morality for that incinerator. Oh, let's do the scent markers as enrichment for the animals. <gasps> researcher plus one. Yes. Oh my gosh. We need 20 points to unlock that. Unlock one more researcher pack, a uh, research pack, improve the research building. So you can now hire two researchers. Okay. I think that we should do that. Oh, and I was going to unlock the choco vendor. All right. I've got to add the choco vendor. That's just too exciting. Floor pack nature. Ooh, flooring and pathways allow your customers to walk faster and use less energy. Okay. So that might be really fun. I think that like the research tree is pretty huge. So we're going to be playing around with that quite a bit. All right. We should have some new animals coming in and we can also do some trades because there's a few places. If we get a duck, we can get snakes. If we get a pig that we can trade, we can get um, ducks. And if we take snakes, we can get pigs. Oh boy. I could have sworn that somebody like that's for pigus. We have a lot of rabbits. If we trade the snakes, we can get hyenas. I could have sworn somebody wanted a goose. Yeah, right here. So they want a goose, but not the type we have yet. So we need to breed our geese in order to get snakes. Got it. So we're trying really hard to go ahead and like get ourselves some snakes. 
Okay, and we should have chocolate now. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna put down wooden planks. A lot of people are using the restroom. I actually think there might be a little bit of a crowded line for the restroom, so we might work on that. And if we can add in another enclosure down here soon, then we might go ahead and hire another keeper. Uh, let's get some of the grass over here. Maybe I should hire somebody new for the hot dog shop, but I like this guy's hair. I know that's a really shallow reason to keep him around, but it's true. <laughs> All right, meanwhile, this doesn't cost me anything. Down we go. Nice grass, whoops. Nice bit of grass. I kind of want to make like a nice little garden. Just make everything look tidy. Neat and tidy. We'll come along the edges. Oop, the game is being saved. Zero people could not fit on the bus. Only five people felt like it was too expensive. Um, oh, what's this? Kong gone? What's this? What? The mighty gorilla is no more? <gasps> no! That sounds terrible! From hunting to habitat loss, the great apes have always been under pressure from mankind. And today, the last wild gorilla, a male known as Bubbles, was sadly laid to rest, making gorillas now extinct in the wild in this world? Bubbles, the last wild gorilla, passed away alone yesterday. Oh, that breaks my heart! Hope is not all lost, as possibility of revival of extinct species exist. An expert from the Global Zookeeper Society, which I would be very proud to be a member of, uh, gave some hope. While these majestic animals are no more in the wild, we can still revive them. Through selective breeding programs in zoos, we can reintroduce these animals to the wild. Restoring the natural order of things can help correct mankind's unending war against the natural world. What? Social animal. I don't see so many wild animals outside the zoo anymore, which is why I love to come here. If you can bring more into your zoo, that would be awesome. Oh, that's from Potter, who wants to like see more animals here. So we need to get 25 animals in our zoo. Jeez, just as we were told how we need to have like more animals in the wild though. Cause that makes me actually want to go ahead and um, like try releasing a bunny and see what happens. But we have a goose coming, <gasps> a forest fire. Oh my gosh. And there's a capybara involved. What the heck? A burning concern. There has been a major fire in the forest nearby. We really need your help. Can you donate to us so we can rescue as many animals as possible? One more thing, you'll, you'll need to look after them too. <gasps> what? Donate a thousand dollars and take in the incoming animals from the forest fire. Like, absolutely. Select an enclosure for our new animals. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, Capybara, where am I gonna stick you? Oh my goodness. Okay, oh dear. Oh, I really hope this will work. I think it's because I was, okay, okay. All right. I was like looking at other things. We can stick the Capybara in there. Okay, I have to click specifically on those. We get two Capybara. What the heck? That is not how I thought this was going to go. And also we need to build that wind turbine. Okay. All right. All right. We just had a forest fire. This is like ultimate drama. Oh my goodness. Let's come in and we're going to have a Kipibara exhibit down here. New variant of Goose has just arrived. Yes. All right. And then uh, I think I need another like storeroom. Oh, geez. I only can have one storeroom at a time. You cannot build more than one. Oh no, that means people are gonna have to walk so far. But I can get a wind turbine down, so let's put that down. Task complete, green machine. We just unlocked an achievement called green machine in Steam, cool. This person will have a new task after five days since the previous task quest was completed, got it. So our place is a little bit more green now that we have a wind turbine. They don't cost that much, so we'll get like a couple of them built. They kind of look nice back there. We can put flowers around them to show how like green we are. Um, and then let's take the capybara. Cohabitation. The pig is just mildly threatened by the geese, which is kind of hilarious. Um, I want to take Salem. Hello. And I want to move Salem over here. Oh, good. You can move multiple animals at one time. That's brilliant. Oh, you can move them like instantly. Good to know for the future when we're like, uh-oh, the animals are like dying of this or that and like they're attacking each other good to know we can fix that in the future all right let's add in another water resource and then we'll add in some enrichment Ooh, a nice little scent marker for them and a small ball 
Let's do the little blue ball maybe and the little green ball. And then we need to get the water lined up for all of this. Oh wait, I should cancel my applications because it, it costs money every day to keep applications coming in. I think I'll hire one more zookeeper and then we'll like let things rest that way for a minute. All right, facilities, no, enclosure, no, amenities. There we go, water pump. So I need to get another water pump installed to make sure everybody has water. I'll try to hide it behind a tree. There we go. So now we also have a wonderful goose variant, which is very exciting. Well, and Kaby Barra that we rescued from a forest fire. I love that. Look, and we can go ahead and using this, we can hide the, um, we can go ahead and hide that water. Here we go. Maybe a few trees. Can I get more trees? Like a nice little summer pine over here. This is lovely. You can really make this quite, quite charming. We can put in like some bushes. There we go. Aw. I really hope people like this. And meanwhile, we can add in things for our capybara. Fern. Okay, I can't put ferns in here for some reason. Fooey. Lavender? Lilac? Why not? Long grass? Why could I add the flowers into the bunny? What? What? Why can I not build in the bunny exhibit now? That's, that's just silly. We're gonna, we're definitely gonna fix that. I think I could probably put a couple benches over here now. <gasps> and our chocolate machine! Of course! Where's our chocolate machine? Let's see, choco vendor. Right here. Oh, people are making a mess. We are not gonna stand for that, friends. Um, and then we'll put in like a chocolate machine right over here. And then we'll also put down, it's not under shop, amenities, that's right. I'll remember like how everything's organized eventually. And we'll put in a little trash can right over here so people will clean up. Whoa, okay, here we go. So we used 168 watts of power and only generated 14. Hopefully we'll make that a little more balanced in the future. Our income is going way up. Our profit is going down. So we're going to try to keep things moving and grooving. Kathleen, the investor, Series B. You're doing good. If you can swell your bank balance to $2,000, I'll be able to call my friends to give you some additional money. Uh, already done? Sweet. Yay! And our investors are happy with us. I think that that means that there's progress happening, friends. All those bunnies are very hungry. Uh, if we didn't have a mission right now to get 25 animals, I would actually try to trade out some of these bunnies to see if we can make a little more progress there. Meanwhile, Bugsy is indeed pregnant. <gasps> Genome donation! Splicing the zoo! Gosh, I love how there's just so much happening all the time. We're at, we at the Monsanto Corporation want to donate the plants for a CRISPR splicer. Since the discovery of CRISPR, it is possible for you to create animals by literally editing their DNA. Want a hopodile or a pegamonkey? If you map the, map the genome of an animal by finding uh, or breeding all 10 variants of an animal type, you can create your own. We will help, and then there's genomes can be spliced to create hybrid animals, which is what we're after. We will help fund your research at $15 a day for the next 165 days. Receive your CRISPR, CRISPR blueprints now, or we will give you $1,000 today as a seed to get you going. Receive your CRISPR splicer blueprints now. Huh, so we could go ahead and like get, let's see. Huh, so one second, I'm gonna do the math on that to see. So that gives you like a lot more money. That's like more than double your money. We'll do that. And then we got our CRISPR blueprints. <gasps> Check them out! Our elephant with a giraffe, or like our giraffe with an elephant head and our flamingo with a deer body. What? Local zoo develops animal splicing technology. Many scientists have put their heads together and come up with a groundbreaking technology that will achieve the impossible, transferring animal heads and bodies to splice them together. When interviewed, the staff and management were very secretive about the process, but they claim that nothing is illegal. Some people are concerned about what it means for the future, as well as the ethical issues that might occur. For others, this is a large step forward for science that will hopefully bring the zoo and humanity to greater heights. It's unknown when the zoo intends to build a full facility and start their venture into animal splicing. <gasps> when we get more of the breeding with the animals done, that's when. 
<laughs> but all right, guys, thank you so, so much for joining us on today's adventures. Things are escalating very quickly. We're going to try to tidy up our zoo. Like, what the heck is that? I need my janitor over here. Probably should have another janitor. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably go ahead and close some of those job positions now that I know it's costing us money. But we're making some good progress. Oh, geez. And slowly but surely learning how to manage this adorable tycoon of a zoo. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for all of our adorable bun buns. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.